If you like the mini bull mastiff, but you wanted it to get bigger, then uh, congratulations, your dreams just came true. Woof. And this is a hoss, is it not? Wow. The bull mastiff. No mini about it, my friends. There's the mini. And that mini looks really mini next to the bull mastiff. Interesting how the G10 is different colors, isn't it? Hmm. This one's really good. I like it. And they, they come in different colors and stuff. I just thought if I had the same color that it would be interesting because you'd compare the other things and not necessarily the colors. But here we go. Deep carry pocket clips. This goes right and left hand just like the mini does. And it sits up on top of the scale there. They didn't machine an area into the scales for it to go into. That might have been nice. I don't think it would have made a big difference for people uh, overall because uh, this is kind of a carry user. It's This is nothing fancy. Um, look at the banter from Wee Knives. And they machined an area in there plus the flat screws. This, well, they set it up on top of the scale. So that starts limiting, you know, your pocket uh, space where if you have it milled in or machined into the scale, you're kind of giving yourself a bigger area normally. Now, the bend here looks a little bit more open, so maybe they made up for it that way. But this doesn't give you a left-hand option, by the way. And this thing is a hoss, so let's get it uh, on the scale and see where we are as far as weight goes. Mm, basically 160 grams. 5.63 ounces. Okay, well, hey, it is what it is. It's eight, you know, you can kick it open with your middle finger as well. And that does drop. It's really a nice smooth drop. It just follows you around. And, you know, I was really impressed when I had the mini. Because that pretty much follows you around too. I mean, that's... That's a nice drop on this knife as well. And this is much smaller, which is nice to have both. Uh, three inches up here, more like mm, three and a quarter back to this bolster here. But seven inches, kind of a three and a seven, three inch blade, seven inches overall. Not right dead on there, but close. Seven and an eighth, and then you got 18 centimeters, right? But this hoss is all kinds of crazy. And that's four inches here. A little bit more than that, four and an eighth there. And then, and that's, you know, you're talking about 100 millimeters plus a couple of millimeters. And then you're talking about 23 centimeters overall length, 9 inches. There's a 4 and a 9. Yeah. Like the stone wash on it. I love the drop on it. Middle finger flick out of that fuller. Not a problem. Makes it easy. Yeah. This is really hard not to put in your pocket, isn't it? It's not that thick either. Let me check this out. Okay, half an inch. 13 millimeters. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's look at the blade stock. Kick this over. Well, come on. Yeah, four millimeters. Yeah, 0.15. What do we got here? Uh... 0.11, that's going to be three, three millimeters. But this is um, 12 millimeters, 0.47. So this is 0.51. That's not much thicker overall. Take a look. It's going to be hard to spot the difference in the thickness. That's not a lot of difference. So pretty slender in the pocket. 
Uh, you got some real estate front to back, don't you? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a bit. That's a bit. Uh, yeah, a little over two inches. Uh, you know, like the PM2, the paramilitary two by Spider Coast, 1.6 at the highest point. So this is this is a little bit more front to back real estate. So I guess that doesn't really concern me as much as this does when it comes to carrying a knife. We'll take this apart so we'll look inside as well. I think these are number eights here, Torxes, so they'll all come pretty easily, I'm sure. Number six is a square they've been staying with the pocket clip recently. But a nice deep carry, huh? Easy to go. I wonder. Uh, I haven't really done much of. Yeah, you can do it with your thumb as well. And, you know, this, however, is not a real strong detent. Now, the good thing about not being a real strong detent is it's so easy to finger flick it open. And it's very smooth. Uh, so, I I'm happy with it, okay? I don't need it a lot stronger because then this would be more difficult. And I'm okay with it. You know. See, it's not going to come open like in your pocket. But you're going to have to really... You got to kick it hard to get it to come out. So, uh, at best, it's a 4.0 on my detent scale. And knives that hit six are kind of getting to the ridiculous hard detent. Knives at 5.5 or 5.2 are good if they're only able to be flicked, kicked open with a flipper tab. This got jimping on it, by the way. No jimping on the top of the blade. Ergos are great. Look at this. It's totally neutral. I mean, just line up wherever you want. And reverse grip, great as well. Pocket clips, easy in and out. Uh, so, no complaints there. Fit and finish is first rate on this knife. And it doesn't cost very much either. And just like the mini Bull Mastiff, it's a... It's a full stainless blade, so it's a 9CR18 MOV blade, not D2. And I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of burned out on Chinese D2. I'm not that big a fan of it. Uh, it will corrode, but D2 will corrode, right? It's not a full stainless. But I like the fact that this is, and if 9CR18 is heat treated correctly, this should hold up pretty good. Nice user. Nice user. I got mine on White Mountain Knives. So, you know, take 10% off. I'm not getting charged tax right now. In the future, I don't know where that's going to go. You know, how they're trying to tax all the internet sales. But so far, they've been able to stay exempt. And 10% off with free shipping makes a big difference. I get some stuff off of Amazon here and there, not these kinds of knives, but they're charging me 10%. And I'm a Prime member, so I don't get charged shipping, but otherwise I'd have that hanging on me too. And some of the knives resellers online, you have to hit a certain dollar amount to get free shipping. So this is good. This is good. This is fun. Uh, this in my Carta would be interesting. I don't know if I need to see this in S35VN or not, but it would be, that would be interesting. Maybe S35VN with my Carta. That, 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 that might be. I don't know if they're going to do any variations on these, but it just, they're just fascinating from that regard. And... Will the knife be a knife? Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's sharp. The mini, the full, wow. Yeah, this is just hard not to carry. I hate it when I really like a knife so much, but I'm gonna have to keep a hold of this little puppy. I don't know about the mini. It's sure nice to have, and it's so much easier to carry, but so hard to say no to the big dog. 
and nice big old grabs grab bar up front here so you can get right up on things as much minor detail work as you might be using this blade for i can't imagine but i mean i could see it in the kitchen it's full stainless i mean you could do some slicing definitely where's my yeah there's my balance on it that's good how about blade to handle length uh, uh yeah yeah it's all there and the design flows great just like the mini see my review on the mini I've, I've got that out there so wow okay nice that they did a backspacer as well i like that it's a it's a nice little finishing touch and it tubes the uh the lanyard hole which you have on this knife a lanyard hole as well well let's tore it apart and see what happens there we go with that that wasn't too tough and these are number eights as well so you only need one size to get the body screws and the pivot uh but the pocket clip will take number sixes on the on this thing and there we go so i mean you don't have to undo the pocket clip to take this apart to service the knife correct there's your screws and they look the same size got a little bit of blue thread locker on them so there you go with that okay liners skeletonized so that's what kept it under six ounces it helps it helps ceramic ceramic bearings nice yeah, there and there and it's clean this thing's clean inside you know there's your detent track it looks pretty dang good not like I got to do a whole lot of cleanup here at all. There's your uh, blade stop. Backspacer. Wow, okay. And you know, this thing here has a little notch that's machined right there. And that notch right there meets up with the underneath notch here that's a little hard to show you with the lighting. So there's your little machined notch right there. It uh, centers the logo and keeps this from turning when you're uh, breaking the pivot screw loose. And so it sits up here until you meet them up and then it drops and it's flush. There you go, bearings. Come on, get a drop out there at least. Right on here. Bearings again. A drop or two there. We can throw this whole thing together. Kick it down. Put the pivot screw right back in. and the body screws one after the other let's just put it right here and stick it in one and two uh -uh. back it up enough to make sure we're not crossing our threads which I can feel we're starting to do. Okay, that's tight. That's definitely tight. Hopefully this isn't too tight. Well, it's no blade play on it. Oh, it still drops. Little bit guillotine-ish. I think you could probably uh, tense that up a little bit and stop it from being too much, see? That's not as, yeah, that's, that's perfect. And that's no bull. 
the Bull Mastiff. I like the name. Something I can pronounce. And the Mini Bull Mastiff. Come on, you know you like it. And there's one for whoever. And right and left hand deep carry pocket clip. Ta-da! And stainless for you guys in the humid climbs that don't like the D2. It's just good. That's all. It's just good. I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you so much. You know what we do. What, what do we do around here? We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.